Hello everyone, this is Lakshma. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to talk about the, one of the most frequently asked string entry questions and answers in Java. These questions I prepared for Java developers as well as selling testers. Okay, so be prepared these entry questions. Without string entry questions, there is no interview at all. Okay, so uh, remember that one. So the first question is what is string? So this is very basic question. A string is nothing but a class. String is a class in Java, which is defined in Java dot lang package. Okay, which represents the set of characters in Java. So string is used in almost all Java applications. Okay, if you develop any Java application without string, there is no application. Okay. The next question is: Is string keyword in Java? So this is very uh, basic question. Uh, so many beginners are confused about this point also. Is string is really keyword or something else? So string is not a keyword. It is a class, final class, which is defined in Java dot lang package, which represents the set of characters in Java. Okay. So the next question is: This question is a very very important question in junior level. Uh, developers uh, will face this question. How many ways you can create a string objects in Java? So answer is there are two ways to create string objects in Java. One is using new operator and another one is using string literals. Let me uh, show you example. So this is the example for that one. One is by creating by using new operator. You can create the object for string class. Another one is string literal. The difference is when you are creating object by using new operator, it will store the object in heap memory. Whereas by using literals, if you create the object, it will going to store the string object in string constant pool. So that is the difference. Only. Okay. The next question is, what is difference between immutable and mutable what is the meaning of uh, mutable and immutable objects immutable objects are like a constant okay you cannot modify them once they are created they are final in nature whereas mutable objects are we can perform modifications on them okay the next question is why string class is immutable and final this is the most most repeatedly asked question without this question you cannot come outside from the interview room okay so why string class is immutable okay so i already said that immutable means it is a uh, once we create the object we cannot change modification we cannot modify on them we cannot modify the objects and they are all final also the answer is string is immutable because once you create the string object we cannot change modifications on them the reason is let me tell you with a one example suppose string s equal to abc Okay, so this is for one customer. If there are hundreds of customers are there, suppose this is the ABC address. Assume that this is the ABC address. There are thousands of customers are there. The thousands of customers are uh, co contains the same address. So once we create this object, for second customer, you know no need to create the object for this one you just uh, refer to them so this is the first customer this is the second customer and this is the third customer here we are not creating the object we are just uh, referring to that object because already in string constant pool object is there we are just using it we are just referring to that remaining customer okay so that means uh, here reusability concept is are rising so okay 
if several references point to same string without even knowing it it would be bad if one of the reference modify that string value that's why string objects are immutable that means so thousands of customers are referring to the same address okay if anyone will modify this address then the remaining customers will affect that's why java people think that they develop the string is a immutable okay so you cannot modify it once you create the object the next question is why string buffer and string builder introduced the objects of string class are immutable in nature just we said that string class are immutable that means you cannot modify them once they are created if you try to modify them a new object will be created with modified content okay this may cause memory and performance issue if you are performing lots of string modifications in your code to overcome these issues java people introduced string buffer and string build classes okay because string buffer and string builder nature is mutable nature that means you can modify the once we create the string object okay the next question is how many objects will create the following code so guess the guys how many objects will create here so these are we are creating the object by using literals literals means where we are going to store these objects in string constant code once we create the object by using string literal the second object also same thing that's why it is not going to create the second time not going to create the object second time it just refer to the same object that means how many objects we are creating here only one object will be created and this object will be stored in string constant code so what the advantage of string constant code once the object is available there we are just using it by using a reference we are just pointing to that object okay so the next question is how many ways you can compare strings and which one you prefer so this is also most important question so there are two ways to compare the strings in java that is equals method and equal operator then immediately they will ask the question which one you prefer and which scenario so answer said like this i prefer equals method because it compares the two string objects based on their content that provides more logical comparison of two string objects in case if you use equal operator it takes only reference of two objects are equal or not it may not be suitable in all situations so rather than using uh, equal operator we just use the equals method okay to compare the two strings the next question is how can how do you convert string to char array so there is one method is there in string class to convert the string to char array that is two char array method using two char array method we can convert the string to char array the next question how many objects will create in the following code okay here i am using by using new operator and one more is string letter so using new operator will create the one object and using literal object create the one object so here two strings will be created objects created using new operator will be stored in which area heap area by using new operator if you create object it will store in heap area 
okay so by using a literal if we create the object it will store in string constant bold okay string constant bold so what do you mean by string in term string object in the string constant pool is called as string int suppose here string object here is a string object a b c okay how you are creating this object by using literal string literal so this is nothing but string int you can create an exact copy of heap memory so whatever is in the heap memory the exact copy will be created here Okay. This process of creating an exact copy of heap, mem heap memory string object in string constant pool is called interning. So, which method we are using for interning? Intern method is used for interning. Okay. Next question is how to call string method? Sorry, is there any difference? java string and c++ string so they will uh, ask this question to know about uh, difference between java string and c++ string in c++ strings are in c++ strings are terminated with null character okay but in java strings are not terminated with null character strings are tested as object strings are treated as objects in java okay the next question is why string constant pool is in java do you have any idea about it so this is very uh, senior level entry question why string constant pool is in java uh, do you have any idea about it so you say answer like this immutable strings increase the security as they cannot modified once they created so you can use them to store sensitive data like username and password so once we create the object by using string we cannot modify on them why because strings are immutable immutable strings are thread safe so we can use them in a multi-threaded code without synchronization. So string objects are used in class loading. If strings are immutable, it is possible that wrong class is being loaded as mutual objects are modified. The last question is, what is the difference between string, string buffer and string builder? The main difference between string, string buffer, and string builder, string is a immutable class, whereas string buffer and string builder, builder are mutable class. Okay. And one more difference is string buffer and the string builder class is that both produce mutable string objects. The main difference between them string buffer class is thread safe whereas string builder class is not thread safe okay string builder is not thread safe string buffer is thread safe okay so so that we can create the we can use in multi threaded environment which class string buffer class we can use in multi threaded environment because it is a thread safe okay so that's it guys so I hope you are enjoying my videos. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel. So thank you for watching.